You're watching Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day. Today, we're going to be breaking down a clip that I got while I was streaming. So if you're missing out on my stream, make sure you hit the subscribe button so this way and the notification bell so you can be notified when I go live or upload a video. So as you can see in this particular clip right here, I've already got my loadout. I just come back from the Gulag. Uh, I was able to get all my money so this way I can grab a loadout pretty quick. Right there. I bust in the door. I don't know who's around me because I don't have enough money to buy a UAV. First tip, make sure you get a UAV if you can, if you got the money whenever you're getting your loadout. So you always know who's around you, right? So he's got shot. I don't have any plates, as you can see right here. All right, so the next thing I got to do is either A, I can go out the door to the right, which is where he's at, or I could sit here and try and kill him. He's probably going to get Peeker's advantage, so that's not what I want to do. Or the next option is to make my escape through any other means of this building. So there is a window to my right. I'm not going to go through that because, again, that's where the enemy is standing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out the door at the back because I do know my situation. All right? That's the situation right there. I know my surroundings, which is knowing that there's a door in the back of this building. So first thing I'm going to do is make a play out the door. Right? So I immediately want to cut the line of sight. So the line of sight is what it sounds like, which is exactly the line that goes from you to whoever or whatever you are looking at. So for his line of sight, it's from him to me. He could see through that door, so I don't want to like immediately turn around. I want to try and break that line of sight, have him guess at where I'm at. Go left, go over the wall, go right, go over the wall. Go left and turn around and come back, whatever the case may be. Make sure you're breaking the line of sight. So for me, I go left. I immediately want to run up and try and see if he's going to push from this direction. I don't hear footsteps, so I know that he's not, so I go ahead and chunk a C4. Whether or not I get a hit, that C4 is still useful. If I get a hit marker, I know he's coming from that direction. I blow up the C4, and I know that he, I don't get a hit marker, so I know he's not coming from the direction. He's either A, coming through the building, which I'm using my headset for sound cues, and I don't hear that, or he's coming around the other side. And I use that piece of information, so I check that door just in case he has dead silence, right? I check the door real quick. As I'm turning back to the left, notice my centering is still up. So that's why centering is so important about to see this. I'm... I got a plate and a half in, so I'm like two shots from a one shot. You know what I'm saying? So having the centering perfect, practicing that's going to help you out a lot. I immediately turn and I see him slide cancel around the corner. So this tells me this player is actually going to be pretty decent. So I immediately slide cancel. As I'm slide cancel, I'm turning to my left to, to find him and then jumping up. So I'm not just doing your normal slide cancel where you don't jump. So I'm, I'm doing a slide cancel, which is slide, slide, jump, and then I jump all while I'm turning around, and I'm going to do the backwards B hop to throw him off his target, right? And he stays crouched. Now, I don't know why he stays crouched. Maybe he want to reduce his recoil, but that allows me to get the full kill. 